this dress is Alexandra, a classic A-line in style, lightweight enough for overseas and you could put underskirts underneath this one, although of course it is made to be worn without. Now as you can see as we come closer, you've got a moderately see-through neckline here, it's not too bad on the bodice. You've got this area here could be filled in with a little bit of extra lace if you don't want it as low cut as that. Now the unusual thing about this one is this silhouette neckline doesn't end in a proper armhole. So it actually comes and it looks like the sleeve starts here and you've got this detailing coming down into this full length sleeve which of course can still be shortened but you couldn't remove it completely because there's no definite finish there. So it gives the illusion of having an off the shoulder full length sleeve but with the security of that shoulder there. Now it's not fitting the mannequin so I have just fastened it as best I can but interestingly you could actually convert this from the zip and buttons into a half lace up back from this point down that could be lace up. You could remove the buttons and the buttonholes at this section here leave three or four buttons fastened at the top and have that as a cheeky keyhole we can of course still get some more of this lovely lace and add that to the back of the bodice too if you wanted that a little bit more filled in now it's got a medium length train as you'd expect to see on an a-line gown and it has got a subtle shimmer which you can probably see as i'm moving around you could go shorter with this dress if you wanted to but the problem that you've got is that the lace on the top of the dress is the only actually applique patch the fabric on the bottom of the this skirt is what incorporates this rather pretty design now that that is actually part of the fabric so if you shorten the dress you are going to lose some of that do bear that in mind you could of course still add a belt detail if you wanted a little bit of extra bling